Does Angels in America suggest a new change for everyone? And does that change also mean a new conversion for everyone heading toward to a millennium? The purpose of this video is to argue how the work's origin, which is the Benjamin Walters interpretation of Paul Clay's Angelus Novus interpretation, and the early movement of Mormonism happen well in this Angels in America, and how sophisticated Tony Kushner's work was that, that all these were weaved well all together. We must first acknowledge that much of Kushner's idea was originated much from Walter Benjamin's idea. Interview held by Rebecca Panofka in 2013, Kushner talks about how Benjamin's explanation inspired his work. He says, in the thesis on the philosophy of history, he talks about the angel as being blown backward from paradise to the future. The backward looking angel, this figure of reaction and regret and loss. I had a dream and that was the origin of the angel in Angels in America. So it is Benjamin Walter where it all had begun, the interpretation that made it all things happen. Walter's interpretation is actually equivalent to all of us. Despite all those pain and dystopia happening, we must move forward to a new world we're nothing sure about because the millennium, the new calling is coming. Storm having such violence, meaning that we have no choice but must move forward. That millennium is approaching, which means the new conversion that inspired Kushner's work. So anyone who would have read this work would have wondered why Kushner would have chosen Mormon among many other religions. In an interview held by Adam Jones in 1986, he answers why he had chosen Mormonism. He says, Mormonism is a theology that I think could only really have come from America. The Book of Mormon, since I don't really believe it is actually from God, is fairly clearly a work of 19th century American literature. It's not the most readable book, but clearly of a tradition that also produced Moby Dick and Huckleberry Finn. The theology is an American reworking of a Western tradition that is uniquely America. The notion of an uninhabited world where it's possible to reinvent. They're very decent, hardworking, serious, intelligent people but they're very reactionary. So throughout the work, both minorities have great similarities about sharing each of its development, being persecuted, challenged by mainstream Christian, seeing new prophecy, and so on. It was all Kushner's intention to put Mormonism in here to let us compare both of their similarities. Their sole hope for searching utopianism in America led to oppression because it was a challenge to mainstream Christianity. So contemporary minorities and early Mormonism have amazingly similar conditions going on because being gay is also a challenge to straight people which is the seemingly mainstream of today's society. Prior Walter, one of the main characters, his vision of angel is same as that of Joseph Smith in the 19th century, both being visited by an angel and both being a New World's prophet. Stephen Kruger, in his essay, Identity and Conversion in Angels in America, states that the angel's visitation to prior takes the form of a mission of conversion. 
given a new identity. Prior is, like Joseph Smith, to become a prophet of a new dispensation. Indeed, in the course of the play, all its characters undergo startling shifts in identity. Although the analysis was only from part one, Millennium Approaches, still it much showed what the other's intention was. New conversion in each and every individual's life. Though it goes through various topics, Kushner really did weave all together well. This play's theme was various and having incompatible aspects existing together. Utopia, dystopia, heaven, hell, spirit, flesh, pleasure, pain, future, past, homosexuality, heterosexuality, progress, stasis, life, death, and so on. Whether which side characters did belong, all their hope was for going forward, maybe couldn't stand any more of current states. So thinking of new conversion, another word, revolution, and that the new era may be promising more of a liberated state for everyone, at least less of a discrimination, hatred, disease, and etc.